Well, Judge Robert Vance was killed by a pipe bomb sent in the mail. A new Brockton man was accused but later found innocent. Brantley Weatherford spoke with that man today and joins us live tonight with more. Mr. Weatherford, good evening. Good evening, Ben. One reason Robert O'Farrell was accused is because he sold typewriters at his store, which led him being a suspect in the investigation. The killer used a typewriter with an A misplaced, which used to write a letter claiming responsibility. 1989, Judge Robert Vance was killed by a package bomb delivered in a mail parcel. The same thing happened to an Atlanta attorney, Robert Robertson. On January 22nd, Robert Wayne O'Farrell arrived at a store and was told by FBI agents that they believed he was the bomber. I never knew either one of the lawyers. I never knew none of them. So it was a shock to us, especially when they come in, called on me and accused me of doing it. Wow. During this time, the FBI, along with other agencies, kept close eye on O'Farrell and his family and questioned them. Later in the investigation, a new suspect was located named Walter Leroy Moody, who was executed in 2018. O'Farrell wasn't happy about it. They fingerprinted me. They took pictures of me. I had to empty my billfolds, everything in my billfolds. They went through everything in my pocket and uh, all this kind of stuff, and it was, it was, it was ridiculous. Robert has tried to get a book written about his story, but hasn't been able to. He says Hollywood was interested, but his friend who was writing the book tried calling, and they wouldn't answer. That's the reason I ain't never been able to get a book done. The FBI don't want this story told, and I guess that's the reason I can't shut up. Robert and his daughter said this whole ordeal has been very harmful on their lives and wish it never happened. When I think about how stupid they was to do some of the things that they done, listen, I never even thought about killing anybody. Never have and never will. And Ben Robert has written many letters to government officials, including Martha Roby, and says only two responses have been received, one being from President Donald Trump. Wow, and so uh, interesting story. A lot of folks around here have heard about that through the years and years, but an interesting point tonight to hear from the man himself. Brantley Weatherford, thanks for that great report this evening.